Make cold brew coffee in minutes with the Dorothy Rapid Cold Brewer by Presto. A tornado spins coffee grounds through the water to make cold brew fast. It's smooth and flavorful with no bitterness because grounds are never exposed to high temperatures. The Dorothy Cold Brewer is easy to use. Insert the stirring cup into the carafe and place on the power base. Add water, select the brew speed, and watch the tornado form. Gradually turn the dial until the tip of the tornado extends down to the top of the stirring cup. Pour in ground coffee and let it stir to your desired strength. 10 minutes for a flavorful lighter brew, 20 minutes for full strength, or up to 30 minutes for ultra strong coffee. Turn off and let the brewer rest for about five minutes. Then attach the plunger with filter and press down slowly and evenly to filter the coffee and move grounds into the stirring cup. Pour over ice and add milk, cream, or sweeten to taste and enjoy. When you're done, the plunger automatically attaches to the stirring cup for easy removal. The Dorothy Rapid Cold Brewer, a fresh spin on cold brew by Presto. Cold brew is the hottest coffee in town. There's a lot of confusion about what it is, so let's set the record straight. Cold brew is a method, not a temperature. It can be served as iced coffee or as hot coffee too. Here's how it works. Use a drip grind, add water, soak the coffee grounds in cold water for about 12 hours, flip the release, and filter the coffee through the precision stainless steel filter. That's it, it's really hard to mess up. Cold brewing makes a concentrate that can be stored in the fridge for up to two weeks. To make iced coffee, pour two ounces over a glass full of ice and add milk. To make hot coffee, pour two ounces into a mug, fill with hot water and add milk. Here's the science. Exposing grounds to hot water oxidizes the oils that are full of acidity and bitterness. Because cold brew is made with cold water, those acids and oils stay trapped in the grounds. The burnt flavor is eliminated. Cold brew tastes smoother, sweeter, richer, and more chocolatey. Plus, the reduced acid makes it healthier for your stomach and your teeth. 
To make a fancy frozen coffee drink, blend in ice, cream and chocolate, or even pumpkin spice. Because you can store it for so long, it's perfect for baking, marinades, and cocktails. So I just got this new um, iced tea and cold brew coffee maker. Um, I'm really excited to use this one. Um, this is a hand-blown glass pitcher. So we'll be able to make our coffee or our iced tea inside of the glass pitcher and then leave it in there in the refrigerator for use. Um, we have lots of stuff to make hot coffee, but it's getting so hot this summer that it's really time to start switching to some iced tea and some iced coffee instead. Um, so this one is going to be awesome. Um, it has the glass pitcher, like I mentioned, and then this stainless steel part that fits in with um, a little rubber o-ring that helps to keep it all um, contained, but also easy to clean. So all of the parts come apart, which is going to make it super easy to clean. And then we can just put that right back in there. And then our coffee or our tea is going to go inside of this reusable stainless steel filter. Um, so the filter just sets right down inside of there, super easy. And then we have a lid that goes on top. We have some really nice tea leaves that are going to make some delicious iced tea. So I'm going to be filling this up and I'm going to actually leave it on the counter for um, maybe 8 to 12 hours just depending on how it looks and how it tastes and then I'll be able to remove the tea leaves and place everything in the refrigerator to keep it chilled. Okay, so this comes along with some instructions of different um, amounts of tea or coffee that you're gonna be using depending on um, what you're making. So since I'm gonna be making tea, I'm gonna follow the instructions here, uh, which says to add 15 to 20 grams of tea leaves. So I have my scale right here that I'm gonna be using and I just zero it out and then I will be adding 15 to 20 grams of my tea leaves. And I have um, just a really nice oolong that I'm turning into some iced tea here. So then I'll go ahead and fill this up with um, room temperature water. I'm gonna be using filtered water and I'm just gonna fill it up to the max fill line. Um, so since I'm using the whole 20 grams of coffee. I'm gonna fill it all the way up to the max fill line. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, and then we're gonna be able to have our iced tea later on this evening. Okay, so as you can see, my iced tea is ready. I can just pull the filter out and let it drain a little bit. And then once it's finished draining, I'll just set it to the side and I'll go pour myself a nice glass of iced tea. Once my tea is brewed, or if I was doing cold coffee, once my cold coffee was brewed, uh, just pulling that filter out like I did, and um, now I have this great pouring pitcher, and I'm also able to keep this in the refrigerator um, and keep it nice and cold. So um, I made a light uh, oolong tea, just lightly steeped so that it's really nice and refreshing for the summer, um, but just depending on what kind of tea or what kind of coffee you make, you can steep it for longer, shorter, really it's um, just however you like it. Uh, so really excited to try this.